What will happen, because presumably it will happen when these cultures will stop being self-sufficient, as in with globalization? I was wondering if you could say a couple of words about the evolution of languages. I mean, it's a fundamental question, and I thank you for that. I think the answer is that there's remarkable innovation and a sign of hope, as well as the kind of story of inevitable decline. And that is the story of languages bouncing back, of revitalization programs, languages on the brink of disappearance that have been through popular demand, as it were, through ethnic awareness and through state support, been revitalized and reborn. Um, we spoke about Welsh earlier today, but there are other examples as well. What you need, I think, is resources coming from the top down. It doesn't always mean money, but it can mean that. And it certainly means support. Benign will to live is as good um, as money sometimes. But also you need grassroot interest from, from the ground. And when those two intersect, you can see interesting survival strategies. The language that I, that I worked on was actually innovating, neologisms, new words were being coined all the time, in part to describe some of the things that we were being confronted with, books and cars and uh, watches and audio recorders. So that's remarkably um, dynamic. But there is an issue of resourcing here. Um, the American government has just announced that it's cutting the Fulbright Doctoral Hayes program. So the Fulbright program, as many people know it, has been cut. The whole Fulbright program costs the same as four US missiles, right, to be used in Libya. So it's just a question of what you prioritize. If it is important to get people out there learning about the world, which I do believe, and if we believe as a community of linguists and scholars that this is part of our inherited condition as a species, this is what makes us unique as a species, it is just a moral travesty not to do something about it. So as Nick mentioned earlier, documentation has to be part of it. Dissemination at the end. But in the middle, you've got this kind of interesting question of protection. And I think we're at that time right now. We have to do something. And to watch the whole field disappear around our ears, and then wonder in 20 years from now why linguists had nothing to study, would be a disaster. <laughs>